What's going on today everybody? We are going to be trying out the cleaner called Booty Juice which is 20 ounces of Zep Purple Degreaser and 20 to 30 ounces of Tide uh, Laundry Detergent. So I've never used this cleaner before but I have heard, uh, I've seen on Facebook and some other places that this mixture is supposedly you pre-soak it with water the four-wheeler and then you spray on the booty juice and let it sit for around 10 minutes spray it off and it's apparently supposed to be hands-free washing so we're gonna put that to the test today and see if it's uh, the real deal see if it takes off all this mud As you can see it's fairly muddy right now so we're gonna see if it's uh, the real deal or if it's fake Alright guys, so what I'm doing do right now is just pre-soak it with the water, loosen up that mud a little bit. Yes, those speakers right there are waterproof. You can spray water right into them if you want to. Those are the uh, the Boss um, audio tubes too. You can buy them right off Amazon or Walmart.com. So you can see, even with the pre-soak, you're still having that mud stains and stuff left over, and that's what this booty juice is supposed to take off. So we're gonna, I wanna see if it's true or not. I mean, nothing really beats a good hand wash, but if you're uh, in a pinch for time and you wanna wash your four-wheeler side-by-side, lawnmower, whatever, apparently this is the go-to, so pretty excited to try it out myself. Radiator's pretty dirty, so curious on how it's gonna do on that. What do you guys use to clean your four wheelers and side by sides? Let me know down in the comments. I'll get back to you once this is all pre soaked and ready to spray the booty juice on. Alright guys, so for the actual mixture of this booty juice, it's going to be, like I said earlier, 20 ounces of Zep Purple Degreaser, 20 to 30 ounces of Tide um, Laundry Detergent, it doesn't matter what kind, I, don't, I believe, but, and then it's going to um, be in a gallon jug, so once you put the two cleaning products in, you're going to fill the gallon jug the rest of the way with just straight water, give it a little shake, pump up your sprayer, and then spray it on. Alright guys, so the next step is to take your uh, booty juice as they call it and uh, just go ahead and coat the four-wheeler. You see I'm just spraying it on there pretty liber liberally. Just want to completely cover all the areas per directions. I'll get back to you guys once this is all uh, covered. Alright guys, I got the whole wheeler coated in that uh, booty juice as they call it. So, you know, I'm pretty excited to see how it, how it works. But, we'll see. I'm going to give it 10-12 uh, minutes and uh, hopefully it'll clean up nice. Alright guys, it's been uh, 10 minutes. Time to see if uh, this mud really peels off like they say it's supposed to. <laughs> oh, that's, I don't know. Maybe it will, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's actually working, guys. I had my, uh, I had my doubts, though. I didn't really think this stuff was going to work. Wow. Holy crap. Look how bright this made that. That's awesome. That's all that mud didn't come off with water. But with the booty juice, it's just blasting off like nothing. Now, let me show you another spot. All right, over here, for instance. See, see all that mud that's left on there still? That was after the pre-soak with water. Just a bunch of it right there too. So, let's see if it takes it off. I'll start with that. Oh yeah, so. Yeah, I'll start with that section right there. You can see it's pretty muddy right there. Let me just hit that water. 
gone. Holy crap. This stuff, okay. I had my doubts at first, but I'm starting to think that this is the way to wash the floor. It's freaking coated. The shocks were coated, but it must be the water hitting it. Oh yeah, it's all coming out. All right, I'm gonna get back to you guys once this is all hosed off and I'll show you the finished product. All right guys, here's the final product of the Booty Juice um, ATV wash. So as you can see, it did a pretty decent job. Um, there's a few spots that it, it did struggle on. Um, <clears throat> nothing crazy though, I mean like, you probably can't even, yeah, there's a little spot there, but I mean, if I had the pressure washer out, that would have came right off. So I do think the bumper, the front bumper, this is, I did not do this ex specifically for the video. Um, I just did this so you could see uh, before and after kind of like before the booty wash compared to just a regular water wash. Um, but you can see the mud is still left on there from the, just the water rinse. Uh, it's just, and that, the radiator, it cleaned the radiator out immaculately I mean it's like brand new but like right here there's a little spot it missed but it, I mean it comes right off with a slightest wipe so if I did take the pressure washer to this it would shine it up perfectly I think um, to rinse it to rinse the uh, booty wash or the booty juice off um, I'd recommend using a pressure washer or maybe just let the booty juice soak for another additional five minutes it even really did a good job on the tires and rims um, so I think overall I'd give it a 9 out of 10 and I think I would use it again I do recommend using it I've heard once it dries it's supposed to give it like a like almost like a glossy finish look to it so I'm curious to see what that looked like um, but yeah I think it works pretty good other than a few little tiny spots works great those those uh, <clears throat> lower control arms or swing arms those were covered in uh, grease from the service I brought it in to do or brought it in for and it ripped all the grease right off so that's perfect so yeah I recommend it it, uh, it does work it's it's legit so Stay tuned for more uh, four-wheeling videos. Um, there's probably be some fishing videos coming up soon as well. But, uh, yeah, have a good one. And subscribe, like this video. Again, comment what you guys use to wash your wheelers with. Catch you on the next one.